am Prasad Gore. I am uploading this video in an attempt to share knowledge. The main intention of this video is to demonstrate basic power system harmonic simulation and to make you understand how does harmonic flow take place in various situations. Let's start with an example. This is a single line diagram of a simple basic, you can say simple or basic power system. Here we have external influence, uh, I mean to say the utility or supply side network system. Then we have transformer feeding to load center 1, load center 2 through cable 1, cable 2 respectively. Uh, we will go in more detail and we will see the harmonic simulation through spreadsheet. As I explained, there is some external influence uh, shown in single line diagram. Here are these factors which, is, which has been considered for the entire simulation. This factor consists of external factor, then I5 harmonic factor and I7 harmonic factor. I just tell you about what is external factor is. The external factors actually signifies the utility stability. And I5 harmonic factor and I7 harmonic factor, these factors uh, explains about the external harmonic content in the network. Now we will see what is the transformer uh, details or the load details in this sheet. Okay. Here the transformer is of 2 MVA, 0.433 kV voltage, 6.68 percent impedance, x bar ratio is 100, power factor is again 0.97, that is depends on load. And then we are uh, required to achieve the unity power factor is 186 kVA. As I explained, there are two load centers, load center 1, load center 2. Load center 1 is having 0.4 MVA load at power factor of 0.97. And this is being non-linear load, this is injecting 134 ampere of I5 5th harmonics and 45 ampere of 7th harmonics. Load center 2 being linear, having no harmonic content in it. The capacity or the load, uh, connected load or the running load is 0.4 MVA at the power factor of 0.97. So because of this two load, you have got the requirement of KVR is coming around 0.186. Now you see the I5 and I7 is getting reflected at transformer maze. But not with the same amplitude because as I said there are several factors affecting the final uh, harmonic observed values at transformer A. Okay. So now I will simulate some of the situations that we will consider what happens when we put 7% harmonic, what happens when we put 4.5 or uh, a 235 hertz frequency filters and what happens when we use uh, single tuned uh, harmonic filters for multiple frequencies. Now let's start, let's start the simulation. Now these are the very basic condition where we see the utility is very highly stable, there is no harmonic content. Uh, in the external supply, the supply is good, very pure. Then we put here, say 180 kVR, that is 0.18 MVR in the system with series frequency of 188.9 Hz. See the effects. You have got 134 injecting into the system, but at the transformer end, you have reduced down it to 116. Earlier it was 131, now it, is, it has got reduced to 116. I7 earlier was 43, but now it has reduced to 40. So the overall ITLD has been reduced down to 12.07 from 13.31, and the VTLD from 1.87 to 1.65. A very basic system, 7% tuned filters. Now what we can simulate more 
to achieve a more reduction will go near to fifth harmonics and we will have let's say a 235 hertz series frequency now see when there was no harmonic filters in place the value of i phi observed at transformer mains was 131 now it has gone down to 72 it was 43 now it is 37 and the idlg overall idlg effect is 8.06 from 13.31 when it was 7% harmonic filter then the i phi was 116 MPL and I7 was 40 MPL. But it has got a very good amount of uh, reduction and it can meet to some international standards. Now we will see what happens when there is external harmonic influence are affecting the entire system. Now let's say with this same scenario, this goes down from 10,000, it goes down to 100. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? It has gone down actually. But you can see here the overloading happens. Earlier this was less, but now it has become more. So, overloading of the filter has happened. Now I put some external harmonics into the system. Now let's run. Oh, see. When there was the utility stability was very high, no harmonic content with the 235 frequency uh, uh, filter, we were getting I5 72 here. Now it has increased to 101. This was 40, 40 and now this is this has increased to 52 and the overall it was 8.06 it has increased to 11.27 so this is basically uh, you know the external harmonics are in place the external the utility stability factor was less so you are seeing a more uh, what to say a very unstable, harmonically unstable situations. Filter 1, it was 68. Now it has gone to 102 ampere. So even the filter is getting overloaded. Okay. Now this is one of the situation when these external factors is affecting the stability of the system. Now I uh, will take another case where I just have you know, uh, I am saying, uh, I am saying, I was having 134, but uh, after even even after putting a 235 hertz frequency filter, the reduction is not happening. I am transforming it. I am getting 101 as I find. So I decided to go little near to tuned, a completely tuned filter. So what I I do is I I'll make this as a 4.1. So that will go to 246. Okay. Now see. This has got reduced. Agreed. But now see the effect of the filter. The filter from 68 it went to 102 and now it's 169. So the filter is getting highly overloaded because of the tuning is done properly but the selection of the tuning should be based on the harmonic external harmonic factors. Now, when the situations are very good, let's see what happens. When the situation is good, I need to say this is high and uh, there is no external harmonics. See the effect. With 2 for this frequency, from 134, you can achieve 26. From 45, we can achieve 36. This is basically tuned for a fifth, so the seventh of harmonic filtering will not be uh, that much. So you can see when there was a seventh harmonic, uh, seven percent, seven percent filter, then we were achieving 
one one six here and forty here, but having two forty six hertz series frequency, we are achieving forty six and thirty six. So it's a tremendous uh, achievement. But if this is done when uh, overlooking the external factors, this filter will not perform the way it is performing in this scenario. Okay. Now the another situation we will see wherein we have got again the same situation, the same poor situation where the utility is not good and uh, high external harmonic filters. Now see, I just split this in the two single tube filters. So one I do it at one uh, uh, one three, and the second I will do with one zero five. So the sum will be again one eighty k one. This I will tune to three forty four, that is seventh harmonic, and this is tuned to fifth harmonic, that is two forty six. Now see the signal. This is eighty two. This is sixty two. The filtering is not happening. I seven was earlier was forty five. Even with the seventh harmonic, it was forty. But now see, after putting this filter, it has gone. It has actually increased. So there is, if this external factors are overlooked, your filters are not going to perform the way they should perform. Okay. So these are the overall uh, filter selection criteria that I'm trying to show you. Uh, let's have the scenario where I'm uh, talking about I'm talking about uh, parallel resonance conditions where you don't use any filtering harmonics and you just use a normal capacitor, plain capacitor, and let's see what happens. Zero point one eight. Let's see what happens. Uh, these are the conditions are there still remain still there, and you have got uh, one thirty four increase to one forty five here, and forty five forty five. There is no change. Okay, and if I make it good, I'm going to say very strong utility and no harmonics. Still. You can see the amplification. So, putting the plain harmonic filters will not. Uh, plain capacitors with no harmonic filters will amplify your harmonic contents. This is all about uh, the basic uh, simulations, uh, simulation of the harmonics. This will give you a basic idea about how does the harmonic flows into the system and what are the conditions to be looked in detail uh, in the next series of the same video. I'll be telling you about more about what is external factors. And for any query, you can email me on prasad.gore at the rate yahoo.co.in. My next video series will have the relay coordination system. The snapshot of this here. I'm explaining. I'll be explaining what is the relay coordination and how it is to be done in Excel format.